This is probably the best start to 31 Days of Horror that's ever been. Hey guys, I just finished watching Bram Stoker's Dracula! Oh my god, the first five seconds of that film, I thought I was gonna hate it because it was so action-packed, crazy, gnarly, intense stuff that I don't really love. Um, I like when things are epic, but um, not when it's like very action-y. But I have to say, that was so romantic. <laughs> I really liked that film. I can't believe how much I really enjoyed that. And that's a film I will definitely watch again. I really like that film. This is definitely a film that was on my list that a lot of people I think were surprised to see uh, that I hadn't seen this film. But I think a lot of people haven't seen certain classic films. I think this one is like my second favorite Dracula film because Oh my god, how beautiful was that? <laughs> um, Keanu Reeves was a little bit weird in it, but yeah. Um, I mean, it is the basic story of Dracula, um, so there's no surprises there, but it's definitely more theatrical than I could have imagined. It's by the same director who did The Godfather films and Apocalypse Now, and also Jack, the film with Robin Williams, and Twix. Is it Twixed? I did that once for 31 Days of Horror, it's an awful movie. But I wasn't sure to expect because of his strange array of films that he's done before and he's directed before. And this very much like stood out like a, almost like a Tim Burton film in parts because it was very theatrical and over the top. Um, the costumes were amazing and um, yeah, I, I don't know, just like the way uh, they brought in some kind of special effects with the lighting and all of that kind of stuff was very theatrical Tim Burton um, and obviously a dark subject matter. But wow, um, all of the characters that came through, I'm like, what is he doing in this film? What is Keanu Reeves doing there? Like, Obviously, I knew Gary Oldman was in it, but uh, I wasn't sure how big of a part uh, Winona Ryder and stuff like that plays. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Gary Oldman obviously is like the star performance. I love the costumes in this film and I love the way they did the Dracula costume with the, <laughs> the weird ass hair with the big plaid. And then I also love what happened with the best friend in this film and how her costumes were betrayed. I just think it was done really well for 1992. It still really holds up. Some of it's a little bit cheesy. There's a lot of overlays with like eyes in the sky and things like that. But I think it can be forgiven because it's kind of like a cheesy kind of movie. Like it's very over the top, very extravagant, um, very epic. The music I loved in this film as well. Again, just really goes with the atmosphere. But what I liked the most was the Atmos um, tracks in the background. So, you know, the atmosphere, uh, just the normal sounds that you don't really hear and you're not really expecting to hear. Normally in films, they utilize silence as being the creep factor. You know, if you're in a house, dark at night, and it's just pure silence, could hear a pin drop. But what I really liked about this is when they're in, you know, Dracula's castle, uh, you can hear like drips and drops. It sounds like you're in a basement. You can hear like scatters of rats and the wind whistling through and bats like squawking at each other. And I think it's really cool. And yeah, really painted the perfect atmosphere. I also love what they did with his shadow. Uh, his shadow was just so epic, um, having it do completely opposite things. They're obviously having someone stand in front of a light and like posing it so it looked almost like a shadow but not which I thought was really cool obviously it breaks off in parts but I thought that was really interesting and fun I also read there's like a scene where he licks the blood from um, the blade uh, that Keanu Reeves is using to shave his face don't worry it's not really a spoiler um, but in that scene uh, the walls actually get smaller um, to make it seem more claustrophobic. So I think that they played a lot with perspective and um, yeah, just really cool like practical effects that they put in there that yeah, just changed it. But I really loved the costumes and um, just how epic the whole film was. It was over two hours long, so it was a long film. Some of these films during 31 Days of Horror are very long, but totally can forgive this one. And 
Um, the pacing was a little bit strange because it took a while to kind of get into the story and then at the end it was just like da -da 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 -da, like <laughs> all of these almost like months like you know piled in together uh, but I think it can be forgiven I think it was a great film and I'm very surprised by this I really want to know what you guys think about this film though because um, I, I guess I'm so late to the party obviously 1992 but uh, I don't know if people really love this film I see it has like a seven I think it's got a seven on um, IMDb and uh, I'm just not sure about how horror lovers like receive this film but I thought it was amazing I'm actually gonna give it an eight this is probably the best start to 31 days of horror that's ever been if you've ever been with me during these in the past it's like <laughs> four, five, five, four, six. <laughs> but even day one, even though it wasn't the best film, uh, it was still interesting and still definitely worth your time. If you haven't seen Bram Stoker's Dracula, you are definitely missing out. That film was epic, beautiful, romantic, and um, Winona Ryder was just so weird in it, but that's Winona Ryder, right? Another great addition to 31 Days of Horror. Uh, if you are still watching, please let me know down below and let me know your score. I'd love to know what you think about this film because I could see how people would probably make fun of it of being like a little bit cheesy, but I'm all for this kind of cheese like this is phantom the opera kind of cheese and i'm all for that <laughs> i hope you guys are enjoying 31 days for horror we're only just getting into it so please stick around and i can't wait to see what the rest of the month brings this has been awesome so far you guys have picked this is the best picks ever so thank you so much for your dedication and all your requests i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow for another 31 days of horror bye <laughs>